Hello and welcome back to Makeshift Minis. After a busy past few weeks, I feel like building something simple. With that in mind, I decided to go with something seasonal, a spider pumpkin thing. Whatever it is, I had fun. I start by making a frame using some wire left over from the Dracolich. With a little effort and help from my pliers, I bend the wire into a ring. After trimming off the excess wire, I wrap a thinner wire around the ring and make five large loops. The loops will be the armature for the legs and the abdomen. To make sure nothing goes anywhere, I cover the ring in hot glue. After I add hot glue, I cool it off in water before I add another layer. To shape the legs, I cut four out of five of the wire loops and then straighten them out. I add hot glue to each of the legs starting at the body and dragging the hot glue gun to the end of the leg. I cool off the minion water after I finish off each of the legs. To make the spider a bit more distinct, I make pumpkins out of hot glue. I start with a bead of hot glue at the end of the wire, which I then cover in lines of hot glue to make lobes of the pumpkin. I'm gonna need a few of them, so I take the time to make two more. Once I've made enough hot glue pumpkins, I attach one of them to the main body for the head. I use the remaining loop of wire to hold another pumpkin while I glue it down. To make the base, I cover a bottle cap and super glue. After I get an even coat, I drop it face first into a jar full of borax to give it an earthen texture. Using hot glue, I make vines covering the base. Once there are vines heading out in every direction, I attach the last pumpkin. After mounting the pumpkin spider on a wire and priming it, I give it a base coat of green. After I'm done painting green, I cover the pumpkins in an orange base coat. Using a smaller brush helps me be careful to avoid the green base coat.
After the base coat dries, I give the vines a light green dry brush. Dry brushing is a great technique to bring out detail and texture, however it's not the most precise thing. Once I'm done with the green, I dry brush everything with a gold yellow. It helps highlight the lighter green and brings out the texture on the orange. For the base, I start with a simple coat of brown on the ground. I used a finer brush than usual to reach between the vines. After I finish with the ground, I go through a similar paint scheme like the spider. I paint the vines a dark green for the base coat. Much like the spider, the pumpkin gets painted orange, however it's a lot easier since there's not much in the way. Once all the base coats are dry, I give the vines a gentle dry brush of light green. To finish things off, I give everything a dry brush of yellow with similar reasons to the spider. Painting the base black doesn't take too long, especially since I've gotten used to working on much larger bases. With everything finished, I glue the mini in place and then it's on to the glamour shots. This was a quick and easy project to work on. It was definitely nice getting back to my roots with just some hot glue and wire, but I think I came up with something interesting. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Take care, be well, and until next time.